Hey, hey, my broken bells, it's your boy Josh coming at you from the wilds of Oregon with a real hookup, I promised you. That's right, tasting the wares of fine flow wines. And it wouldn't have been possible without my cameraman and amazing buyer, Paula Prele. Say hi to the peeps, Polly. What's up? Come on, have a little personality, you goddamn soprano. He's always telling me that. All right, all right. Let's get started with a classic. Polly, what's up? Perhaps a little history of the flavors we're about to savor tonight. Don't you think that'd be in order? Killjoy. I got you this connection, didn't I? Fine Flow says they want us to talk a little bit about their history. Well, this might end up on the cutting room floor, just so you know. Ah, uh, sure. Anyway, Fine Flow Wines, founded in 1981. Let's start with the rarest of rare vintages from this particular house of viticulture, Le Petit Syrah. Hints of espresso and blackberry, they say. Let's see how true they really are. Ooh. Ah, emphasis on espresso. You know what the Italians say about espresso, right, Polly? Right? Right? That it's God's chosen drink? Unless that God is Bacchus. <sighs> mm, there we go. That's the stuff. I give this one four out of ten. Why only four? Not enough espresso or blackberry. It's only wine, bro. Yeah, I asked for wine, not liquid tobacco. He says, like, I'm the one who provided him. Your connection, remember? Wine. Come on, dude, give me the next one. So this one, I believe it's a Pinot Chardot Zinfandel. Psych! No, I'm pretty sure this one's a Sauvignon Blanc. Thanks for sparing us the accent this time. The French will kill me later anyway. <sighs> Wait, you said that was Sauvignon? Yeah, why? They didn't tell me they had that one. What? Show me the manifest. So, the manifest is gone. Dude, it's not like it's a cargo plane. Well, no idea what's in this, but bottoms up, Bells. <coughs> wow, that was sweet. So much sweeter than I expected. So much sweeter. You think so? Let me try. This is wine, bro. It ain't made from any grape that I know of. And what is it? Hard to say. Could be honey, could be elderflower, but it ain't a fine flow product. Okay, someone's been f Vino Verde style. You know, that reminds me. When I was a kid, I read this one book set in ancient Rome where these boys, they were trying to get into the rich ass butt's palace. And one of them, the rich ass butt, found him and got him drunk on every wine in the book. And they, and being a rich ass butt, of course, he even had green wine. Now, was it sour? Bitter? Can't remember how they described it. Save it for the outtakes, man. Anyway, we've got some Vino Verde right here. Man, Fine Flow really does go for some rarities, huh? Uh, Vino Verde style. Remember? So, probably tastes different than whatever that was we had before. Oh, it must. Mountain Dew? Really? Why are you looking at me like that? Bro, none of these wines have come out right. You're my connection. Sapphire? It's a legit thing. Is it? Read it and weep. Uh, where? It's upside down. Oh, for God's sake. There. Oh, wow. Sapphire wine is a real thing. There's a whole rainbow of colors. Violet, orange, amber, yellow, red, blue. It's amazing. Hold up. Brandon Sanderson? Have you been? I promised the viewers. Promised them what? Micro reviews of micro wine, a free promo blend. Your fans don't even drink this shit. They drink IPAs. I was gonna do ciders. And I was just gonna fuck with you. Cause you're my bro. And that's what bros do. I ain't fucking with you anymore. Come on. Get out. I suppose. 
One more can hurt. What the shit? Sanderson was right. <laughs>